Good evening. While the weather didn't exactly cooperate for Earth Hour celebrations tonight, it was windy and rainy. But that didn't stop activists fighting for action on climate change. The city turned dark for one hour tonight as Toronto joined cities around the world and unplugged for the 13th year. A candlelight walk through the High Park Zoo brought out young and old who are drawing attention to the simple idea of the conservation of energy. It's about learning to power down. It's about learning just in our day-to-day -day lives how we can reduce our carbon footprint. Um, sometimes it's as simple as turning a light out when you leave a room. Uh, sometimes it's as simple as walking instead of you know, driving your car. There's many things that as a, in our day-to-day -day lives we can do to help reduce the greenhouse gases. This event brought together Friends of High Park, Grenadier Restaurant and Green 13 and about 30 hardy people who took a walk on the wild side. These are dedicated people who don't think they're made of salt or sugar. They are out in their welly boots, their umbrellas, they're ready to walk through the rain to enjoy and have fun on Earth Hour. The CN Tower was eerily dark until Earth Hour ended at 9.30 when it lit up in a rainbow of colours in celebration. And our City News home in Dundas Square also helped send the message that the City of Toronto wants to be part of the solution to saving the planet, nature and wildlife. Cities around the world turning their lights out to commemorate Earth Hour. Star Wars fans with glowing lightsabers uh -oh. march through Manila's commercial district in the Philippines, <laughs> while hundreds watched Hong Kong's skyline go completely black. The Eiffel Tower in Paris joined the list of icons going lightless tonight, while the Acropolis plunged into darkness in Greece. The Earth Hour initiative began in Australia in 2007 as a grassroots gesture by the World Wildlife Fund against man-made carbon dioxide emissions linked to a warming planet.